Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a, an Instagram bot that posts content periodically. So like the other day I was pretty bored and after failing a Hitman 2 mission five, six times in a row, I decided to make an Instagram bot such a weird chain of events. So this is my Instagram account, as you can see here. And if you don't follow it, please, I need subscribers. And you know, follow it for random content. Account that I ended up making is this one here, Inspiration Bot. And, and what it does, it is that um, every day it posts, a, you know, a quote on the page. And that's pretty much it. Every day at the same time, it posts a quote on an image, and also it posts the story with the same text. And today. I'll just show you how to post some content on Instagram using using Python. So, and for this, you need two things. The first one of them is Python installed on your computer. Um, I, I will actually be using this um, Jupyter Notebook thing, which is help useful for me. And then you need an Instagram account. And I got that set up for me as well. So, this is my Instagram account where I'll be doing the posting. Please don't hurt me. I'm Swedish. Yes, this is the account. Yeah, and I'll try to show you this um, in a timely manner. So without anything else to do, let's get started. So just open your Python file. I'll just be opening a Jupyter Notebook, but it's pretty much the same thing. It just helps me, you know, execute only certain parts of the code and the library that will be that I'll be showing you today is this uh, insta auto library which which we'll be using to post um, onto Instagram we can't use the Facebook's official library because it's um, well the Zuck doesn't want you to post stuff so this guy is here made an unofficial API that lets you post stories and comments and likes and follow people and whatnot but I uh, will just be using it for posting content. Anyways, to install it, you just do pip install um, insta auto. I'm doing it here, but you could also do it through the console, you know, just like you would normally install a library. I'll be also installing this library, which show which lets me create pictures. And yeah, install those two things, and then I'll be importing a few things here. And then I'll be importing a few libraries from Pill to create an image. And the image that I'll be creating is not a quote, I'll ju just be creating um, an image that will be displaying the current time. It's not very useful, but it's just an example. So, import image, also import um, image font to define the font, and then import image draw which will let you draw text and whatnot on the image okay now i'll set the the size of the image which will be you can see the instagram guidelines but the the square size is 1080 by 1080 there you go and um yeah i can create an image now image equals image dot new RGB for uh, you know colored image a tuple with the dimensions and then we set the color to be black this is the background color let's get let me get some space there you go okay and if I do image you'll see that it will create a black square wow very useful so now let's add the date onto this amazing square so first we need to capture the image so this is the way that you can draw you can you know link the image with this draw object and now let's create some text and the text that will be displaying is the time as i told you before so we have to import the date time so i can just do from date time import date time and you'll see here that if I do date time dot now, it will give me the current time. Let me print it here quickly. 
there you go that's the current time of today but i don't want this in this format i want it in string format so we just have to convert it to the string using string of time and then i can just do the you know the, the hour minutes and seconds so i'll just do hour minute and second there you go and now the text will display the current time like so now we just, all we have to do is put this text onto the image and first we can import the font so font equals image font dot true type and then we can import the font and uh, and i'll be importing the roboto font that i got from google link in the description and you just type that here uh, with the path for it and then you can type the size of the font now if i could if i want i can just draw it and let's see it so draw the text and i want to, to draw it where first i have to do the position and let's do it in the middle uh, so like so this will be the middle of the image more or less not really i'll be showing you why in the bit then you put the text that you want to display and then the font uh, like so and this will draw the text on the image then you can just type image to see what the new square and now you'll see that we have here the black square with some texts with the current date with the current time which is great it's not really centered we're going to take care of that right now very really quickly so because the way that text works is that it's centering like the the top left corner and not the middle of the text so to offset that you just have to do uh, draw the text size and you type the text and the font and this will give you like the, the dimensions the x and y dimensions in pixels that this will occupy and then you can just subtract that from here uh, like so and there you go now you have the text centered the, let's actually make it a bit bigger maybe like a hundred and there you go amazing okay so now to the fun part which is how can we post this and this is actually pretty straightforward you just go into this library here the insta auto library that i told before which lets you post comments like whatever and they got here some pretty nifty examples so let's go on to the examples post and in this case we want to update upload an image to the feed and boom just like that i can just copy this bad boy into here first step and first let me delete this if clause okay so pretty much what this is doing is after importing all the necessary libraries, it is looking for this file, else it just logs you in. This is what this is doing. And uh, if the file does not exist, it also saves this file. This file is here so that it uh, remembers your credentials, your login, so that you know Facebook and Instagram does not flag you like a as a bar, as a bot, because you know logging in too many times will cause that. Uh, yeah after that you just have to post with the image link and the caption so let me just change my name here to my name so pretty much this thing here then the password to the password in my case i just wrote some random password okay and this is and this means it it will either put this or this in case this doesn't exist and this thing here it just gets the environment variable it will be useful in case you for example deploy this onto Heroku I'll show you about it later and yeah so about posting you just have to put here the image it has to be a JPEG and that's something that we haven't done yet so here you'll do image.save and then the path but JPEG and it will save the image and of course change that name to also be there and there you go you, we can also change the caption maybe to the show also the, the the date 
and there you go this is pretty much working so all we have to do now is to is uh, run it so let me just go from the beginning so okay we have now generated the image so if I go on to the folder you'll see here the image with the current date with the current time I mean there you go and now we just have to post it and let's see if this work goes well sometimes it doesn't okay it's thinking a lot and there you go success equals true so hopefully we got our image down there so let's just hit refresh and boom there you go <laughs> the image is there so, uh, and that's yeah and that's how you do it be careful that because sometimes Facebook or Instagram might uh, send a code to your phone or to your email it, because it may think that this is not you it's someone stealing your account because of um, you know you're logging in from a different location and whatnot but yeah in that case you just have to put the code where they want you to and and you're golden and that was it for today guys thank you for watching in the next video I'll be showing you how to deploy this into Iroku so that it posts pictures periodically and that's it, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe and until the next time.